Hello everybody, Mario Lion here. Welcome back to my channel. I have another pocket ladder to share with you. But first, I gotta tell you, I saw this um, at Irina's channel, um, Fun Life on a Budget. I will link her channel below in the description box. Um, Irina, or it might be that you say Irina, I don't know. She is fun. <laughs> She's always happy on uh, her channel and I found out that um, we used to be neighbors when we both still lived in, the, in Europe. I lived in the Netherlands and she lived in Germany. So that's a coincidence, isn't it? But anyways, um, she had made this pocket letter and... I loved it. I happen to have the same paper pad. I bought that a couple of weeks ago at Michael's. Uh, Uptown Chic, it's called. And as you can see, it sparkles. There's a lot of gold going on here. So, seeing her pocket letter inspired me to make the same or something similar. But I didn't want to do that. Um before I knew if she wouldn't mind. So I sent her an email and she uh, she didn't mind. She said, make something similar, make something fun, make something completely the same. I don't care. And actually, I feel the same way. If we make things like pocket letters or flip books or whatever, and um, we inspire other people by what we show, it's okay with me if you have the same paper and you make uh, exactly the same or a little bit different than what I did. Um, it would be nice if you let me know so I can watch your video. So, I sat down yesterday and uh, hmm, I had to have a sip uh, of tea. I love tea too. Okay. That's uh, not important. I sat down yesterday and I started cutting papers up. And, um, well, this is one that I used. This one with the lines. I cut up a paper that had all kinds of sayings on it, like whistle while you work. And I used pieces of this paper with all the, uh, what is it, hexagons? I think so. Oh, here, one of the papers. I love the flamingo in there. And this piece with the frame, the lipstick, to be happy, just do your best. Live with a little sparkle in your eye. Well, awesome. Here's more of that paper with the hexagons. And I used this one. I showed you the stripes already and I'm making a huge mess here because I cannot find room to put my stuff. I, Of course it has flamingos which really are very cute. I really love this paper. It's so pastel-y if that's the word. Like the, the pink and mint green flamingos. Here they're brown. But they can be gold too, like you saw on the, uh... oh, I love this one too with the bows. Anyways, let's go on my line. Oh gosh, I should have just grabbed a couple of small pieces. <laughs> Here, pineapples. And most of these papers um, that I used, um, Irina used too. And, uh, okay, Irina, if I pronounce your name wrong, just tell me, because uh, I know my name is a problem to pronounce for a lot of people, but I really want to know if I'm saying it right or not. Okay, let's go to the pocket letter. I loved 
what she did with the first pocket. She um, she used this paper with the bows on it, and I did too. And then I don't have any golden glitter stuff, but I have these stickles, icicle. As you can see, there's a nice shimmer in it. So that's what I put on those bows. And then I made another bow from gold uh, glitter paper that I have to fit on top of the pocket. And I happen to have these um, mint green pearls, these here by Jot. I bought these at the Dollar Tree. First, I was going to use these, but I found these green ones and they go absolutely perfect with this paper. So that's what I used for that. Uh, I had to figure out how to do this bow because it's a lot smaller than what you find on most tutorials. But I figured if my card in here is two and a half inches wide, then the bottom part of the bow should be like that too. And, um, gosh, do I have it on hand or not? Oh yeah, here. This is a bow that is from totally different paper, but the bottom, this is three layers. The bottom part here is five inches. The first bow on top is six, made by with a six inch long, and this is five inches. So I figured if you use five inches for the bottom here and five inches for the bow, then if you use two and a half inches here, you use two and a half for the bow too. So I use my envelope punch board for that and uh, here I just um, punched it out when I put it in lengthwise and then um, two and a half inches wide so one and a quarter inch uh, is the half of it and that's where I put punched out the middle part and this top one is just punched out in the middle at one and a quarter inch. Fold it double and I added a pearl. This is one of the cutouts from uh, the paper pad. Do it proper. I uh, First I had used my um, glitter pen but I didn't like the effect so I used my uh, white opal liquid pearls and this is the pineapple paper on every um, green part of the pineapple I did a dot of uh, liquid pearls and I did it here too I had it actually in these corners too but this was just a little bit too wide for the paper so I got cut that part off this is one of the cutouts and uh, I added a strip of pearl and here in the middle too. Then we come to oh, there are all kinds of fibers on here. The um, this pocket again so pretty a cutout pearls here, and I put a pearl in the heart of the doggy. In the middle, I made a shaker pocket. I used the flamingo paper. I don't know if you can tell but it's it's there and I cut it a little bit smaller than the other ones so I could fuse the pocket and I added some golden, some mint green and some um, pink sequins in there some gold glitter, some pink glitter and I added this bow on top made the same way as the other one do one day at a time is the third one for that row and um, then we go to the bottom row let me fold that here um, 
Irina had used this stamp, but she did it on the third pocket. And it's funny, because I have the same set. This is um, the Julie Nutting planner stamp set that I bought a while ago through uh, Amazon. It is called Craft Day, and it has 37 stamps on it. And it was actually bought by me as a mistake, because I thought these were the bigger stamps, but these are like, what, five inches, four or five inches high? And they have all these phrases on there, like play and create and make something pretty today. It all has to do with crafts. And I loved it. So I uh, I used the one stamp. And I was very lucky to find some matching colors in my uh, uh, colored pencils. I used the Prisma Schooler uh, pencils. Hmm. Tea is getting cold. Uh, the middle pocket, this paper has stripes and I stole this idea from Irina because I liked it. Um, Irina, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I added some washi samples on the white parts of the card, same as uh, Irina did. And here we have the last pocket. Um, I cut out these hexagons, a uh, flamingo, the pineapple is underneath, and this little doggy. Um, added the uh, pearl dots again. And uh, I, I like symmetry in, uh, no, so, how do you call that? Symmetric? I don't, I'm not sure. So I'll, I'll stop talking about that, but I like when I have a bow on the left, top left, and a bow in the middle. I like to put a bow on the bottom right. So that's what I did. I made a bow here, and that's the finished pocket letter. Then I went through my fiber stash. I have a lot of fibers from the time I used to uh, scrapbook. And um, I had this one here. And the colors are not completely mint green, but I used this one here. And I used this. This is funny. I like the way this is. And um, I used a kind of a beige pinky one in the middle. Is that from, oh, that's from this one here. This is what I used. And then I used this. The pink is a little darker and this is a lot brighter, but I like the way it looks. And then I uh, had this die set bought at um, I Am Mama 24's uh, Zibbit Shop. Rebecca here on uh, I am Mama Too Far on YouTube and her name is Rebecca and I uh, cut out these two tag tags and I added the tag on a piece of fiber and used a part of the one of the hexagons that was gold on the bottom and I have these stickers made labels made with love and my name so I put that on there and I added the washi on the side because this is the matching washi that I bought the same time I was at Michael's and I love it now um, I don't have a lot of I don't actually have any goodies in it yet I cut some I cut out some extra oh sorry for the shakiness extra dice so I put that in an envelope and there's gonna be a letter in there and I'll probably stamp some more of these girls and put them in I might even make a bow a couple of bows so that's what I made 
Oh gosh, the pearl came off. That is awful. Good thing I can fix that again. Maybe I should put something stronger underneath. But that is what I wanted to show you. Irina, I hope you like what I did. Uh, I was almost going to say let's swap, but I know you gave yours away in a giveaway, so that won't work anymore. But, uh, well, there's always somebody willing to swap pocket letters, so just drop me an email and we'll see what we can do. Have a wonderful day. Bye.